if you are getting ready for the PMP exam, you do need to know your tools and techniques. I would highly advise every PMP to be getting ready for the exam to revise the tools and techniques in the PMBOK guide. Let's talk about data gathering tools and techniques first. Use this as a checklist and if you find your knowledge gaps, close your knowledge gaps. So my question to you today is, what is benchmarking? Can you define benchmarking in your own way? When you talk about benchmarking, you need to think about 5.2 and 8.1. You need to know these numbers. They should immediately be a signal to you, scope and quality. Where do we use benchmarking in scope? In collecting requirements. You can use requirements from a previous company, a previous product, a previous service as a basis for requirements on a current project. 8.1 is plan quality management. You can use previous quality standards from a previous project or company service or result from somewhere else as a basis for your current project. Brainstorming is the next one. It's all about getting the team to creatively, simultaneously, spontaneously come out with ideas. And sometimes you could take brainstorming to the next level and make it brain writing by telling people in advance what exactly they need to do and asking them to come prepared with documentation that encapsulates the ideas. We call it brain writing. So brainstorming and brain writing are important for your exam. 4.1, 4.2, 5.2, 8.1, 11.2, and 13.1. You need to master what exactly is happening in brainstorming here. So let's talk about 4.1. This is Develop Project Charter. It makes sense that a new project, a new service or result being conceived, you will need to harness the energy, the brain power of the team to brainstorm. 4.2, developing the project management plan. The different ways. And when you're thinking about brainstorming, it's important that you don't just think about predictive. You also need to think about the agile flavors and the hybrid flavors. 5.2, we talk about collecting requirements. You could brainstorm for requirements. 8.1, you could brainstorm regarding quality standards. 11.2, you could brainstorm regarding risks when you identify risks. 13.1, you could also brainstorm when you're asking the question, stakeholders, who are our stakeholders and how should we identify them? Do you know anyone who is a stakeholder? Stakeholders know other stakeholders. So when we talk about 13.1, we're talking about identify stakeholders. And I'll just talk about the numbering system in the PMBOK guide. It is important that you know your numbering system in the PMBOK guide because when you're looking at page 686 to 694, you do not want to have to turn the page over to find out what is 13.1, what is 12.2. You should know this. This is PMBOK 101. So this is the honest truth about PMP prep. You have those who will go the extra mile, you have those who will only go half a mile. You have some who will go absolutely zero mile. We need to go the extra mile. So when we're talking about brainstorming in 13.1, that should immediately tell you. We're talking about identifying stakeholders, brainstorming, brainwriting. What exactly are you brainstorming and brainwriting? Well, in the PMBOK guide on page 511, they say, Brainstorm in a general data gathering and creativity technique that elicits input from groups such as team members or subject matter experts. But what are you really doing? You're trying to gather data pertaining to stakeholders. Brainwriting is a refinement of brainstorming that allows individual participants time to consider the questions individually before the group creativity session is held. The information can be gathered in face-to-face -face groups or using virtual environments supported by technology. So when you're taking a look at page 686, I want you to go through the entire list and ask yourself, do I know what this is and do I know its relevance? Still on page 686, we talk about check sheets and checklists. I'm giving you an assignment now. Go look up the difference between 
check sheets and checklists. One is used as a reminder, checklists. The other is used as a data gathering tool, check sheets, to actually fill in data. And where are check sheets used? The big reminder is when you're doing an inspection and you're inspecting several different widgets or deliverables, and you realize that certain deliverables are defective and you begin to discover why they are defective. What is the defect? You could use check sheets to catalog that. Focus groups are also data gathering tools and techniques. We use focus groups in 4.1, 4.2, and 5.2. And interviews are the next one. We use interviews in 4.1, 4.2, 5.2, 8.1, 11.2, 11.3, 11.4, and 11.5. Market research is used to survey the marketplace to understand the goods and the services that are available from a procurement perspective in 12.1. Questionnaires and surveys are used in 5.2, obviously because of requirements. We could source requirements by using questionnaires and surveys. It's a way we collect requirements or elicit them, if you will. 13.1, this is where, again, we think about our stakeholders identifying stakeholders through questionnaires and surveys. We can glean data we need about stakeholders. And this helps us in the following processes, such as 13.2, planned stakeholder engagement, and beyond. This could also help us in other areas. The final one in data gathering is statistical sampling 8.3. What do we do in statistical sampling? We choose part of a population for inspection. Not the whole thing, it's part of it. So as you're studying for your exam, it is absolutely important that you get the tools, the techniques down pat every single section. Let me also say that if you're getting ready for the PMP exam and you've been struggling, you need to be in my training, pmanonymous.com, pmsucceed.com, and agileprinciple.com. Visit those sites. Check out the curriculum. Let us know how we can help you. Some of you are struggling. You've got no business trying to get certified alone. And you keep doing the same thing, keep reading the same thing, keep not doing the right thing. Come to our training. Let us help you.